police department and also in the black community. And this is what is not being discussed because it's being hijacked and it's all being directed towards a debate about race. You've got FBI crime statistics which show that black people commit almost the same number of homicides as whites and Hispanics put together, despite the fact that they only represent 13% of the population in America. Also, 93% of blacks are killed by other blacks, again, despite the fact that they're only 13% of the population. So is this because of their skin color? No, just as because in the case of police, they resort to violence not because of their skin color. This is about an endemic problem of violence within both police departments and the black community. So the way that this has been hijacked and it's all about race, it's all about white privilege, which again, in the case of Kelly Thomas and James Boyd, they couldn't exercise their white privilege to save them from their fate. This is the point, it's all being misdirected. What we should be focusing on is the training that law enforcement is getting, which makes them resort to violence immediately, as well as the culture within the black community that promotes this criminality, which is hyped and promoted by white owned entertainment companies, which glamorize this thug life culture through rap and hip hop. Mm -hmm. None of this is being addressed now that the social justice warriors have hijacked this case and basically turned it into Occupy 2.0. This is being used as a divisive tool to turn us away from the problem of violence in both the police community and the black community towards just squabbling with each other over side issues about white privilege. So I wanted to get Lionel's take on that. I could not have said it better, uh, my dear friend, that I will not try to. Let me tell you that imagine this hypothetical. We have a series of doors. In this door, we can discuss the grand jury problems, anomalies, and the like. In this door, we can talk about inherent problems within African American culture, blah, blah, blah. In this door, we can talk about the hyper militarization of the police. In this door, we can talk about training. In this door, and you're right. Now, the problem is that when we change doors in mid sentence and go from police argument to race in a society that is not able to handle critical thinking, in a society with this mamby-pamby, almost cartoonish media who cannot handle this, throw into the mix, this is a rather complex situation. Now, what you said, Paul, I agree with 100%. There has been, and you know, in this country, let's back up. There has been a firewall by design, from Posse Comitatus in 1878 to our loathing of, of, of standing armies, a firewall between civilian law enforcement and military. I've often said, if you do not like being a police officer, if you don't like, as we say in, in New York on all the police cars, you see CPR, courtesy, professionalism, and respect. If you don't want to read rights, if you don't want to take down names and be courteous and be a peace officer or a constable, then join the military. Go someplace where you can engage the military, start shooting when you're told to, because police officers involve a certain skill set that military doesn't. And what happens is when you throw into the mix this idea through 1033 programs, MRAPs, automatic weapons, from when, when Sheriff Andy turns into RoboCop, and you have this crew-cutted, mirrored glasses, heavily armored look, when you have the Boise Police Department having urban assault commando trucks, when you have this other attitude, and this is, this is what I've heard, well, how dare this man, Eric Garner, dare resist arrest? Now, resist arrest can be, and Paul and uh, David, we've seen this, when somebody asks a police officer, why am I being arrested? You're resisting. Yeah. Or takes a picture. He's arrested. This is a country, we've seen it from TSA, from gate rapes, from airports. We have seen the, so, the slow, systematic, systemic, heightened militarization on all levels. It's gotten so bad that even in schools, little kids who point fingers are in essence arrested in the school system. So we have become this hyper law and order on steroids mentality. That 
I agree, Paul, is another avenue. Because I'm sure that if we look to other cultures, other police departments, other countries, other, they have their 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 uh, store of, of of thugs and the like, and we have by virtue of this. Let me throw in another problem. When the social media, and God bless protest, but when the momentum of the meme starts, when somebody says it, I know this. You know how many times I see people running around here who are thrilled to be a part of the protest. Hey, we're going to Grand Central. Come on, get your phone out. Let's Instagram this. This is, I'm not saying people are not sincere, but there is a a celebration sometimes. Hang on, Lionel, we gotta take a break. We'll be right back. And as you're talking about the militarization of the police and we're talking about the training, maybe there's a question if, would the system have liability if they found these police officers guilty because they trained them to act that way? We'll be right back with Lionel and Paul Joseph Watson from the UK. Stay with us. This hour brought to you by InfidelBodyArmor.com. When it hits the fan, don't be left without the body armor that will save your life. With prices starting at just $374.99 and ships free. Get yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Just won't quit. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Mom, I can't do my math homework. I just don't get it. I hate math. (sighs) I've always tried to be a good mother, but when it came to Jamie's math, I was at a loss. Then a friend told me about Math Made Easy DVDs. Concepts are simplified in an easy way to follow and review, and students can learn at their own pace in the convenience of home. Listen, in the frustration, call Math Made Easy. Call now, 1-800-USA-MATH. That's 1-800-872-6284. Or visit us at mathmadeeasy.com. Did you know by age 50, half of all men have an enlarged prostate? This means more urges to urinate, longer bathroom trips, waking at night to urinate, or issues with sex. If this sounds familiar, call us now, because we're shipping free bottles of Super Beta Prostate to listeners of this station. Super Beta Prostate is a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-852-1820. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate, improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1-800-852-1820. That's 1-800-852-1820. Call 1-800-852-1820. I'm watching and waiting for the right time to take everything you own. I love a dark house. Don't be the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone is inside watching TV and makes your home unappealing to would-be thieves. Don't these people ever leave? Starting at $24.95 and there's free shipping. Go to faketv.com or ask for it at your local hardware store. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs Generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs Generator and Lung Delivery System at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Ida. I have Lionel on the phone with us and Paul Joseph Watson is joining us from the UK. And as we were going to break, we were talking about, as Lionel had put it, there's so many different doors to this. We have the excessive use of force, the militarization of the police, the way they're trained, the way they're equipped. And then, of course, we also can look at the grand jury, why there are so few indictments of the police when they do this. And I have a question for Lionel. Is it maybe because if some of these police officers were indicted for doing what they're trained to do, doing what they're equipped to do, which we as a society need to have this discussion as to whether or not we want militarized police? I sure don't. 
And if maybe if they're indicted for some of this stuff, would they sue their employers, the system? Is that why the system apparently is, is going so uh, easy on them? Because it would essentially be liable if, if this started to come out. Well, we got a problem with immunity. That's because people, we don't want to hamstring the police. Mm -hmm. We don't want to have them say, because God forbid, David, somebody is uh, attacking you or your family. You don't want the police officers saying, you know, I normally be a little bit more aggressive in helping out David here, but I don't think I want to risk the chance of civil liability. So I'm, I think I'm going to back off a little bit. So we obviously don't want that. Sure. But David, may I ask you something, sir? I, I, I'm. Do you remember a, a time? Perhaps maybe we're in the same. Mm -hmm. I don't know generation, but I know instances where friends of mine can tell me a time when when they were out acting like a fool. Police officer came home and brought them home, knocked on the door and said, Mrs. Knight, yeah. Well, David here has been acting up. Why you? Oh, yeah. And 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 they can tell these stories. You know, Norman Rockwell, yes. the, the, the picture of the little boy who runs away. Grant, it's a kid. There are views of in my from Sheriff Andy to Adam 12 to Dragnet, Bumper Morgan, the Blue Knight, and all of a sudden. The idea of the police officer as being wise, the guy in the community, the one who ran the traffic signal on Sundays when church let out, that image has been changed. I want people to Google this. I told somebody this and they didn't believe it. Look at the number of cases where people have been denied applications to police forces because their IQs were too high. Yeah, there was actually a lawsuit about that. Yes. And he, then the guy lost. They, they wouldn't hire him as a cop because they said his IQ was too high. He sued them and they said, no, nah, they don't have to hire you. Your IQ is too high. If, if, <laughs> if we are, are going, and I'm telling you right now, look no further. Go back to the TSA, look to the feds, and look to how people handled that. Look to how we, not only did we have this new brand of G-men, Mm -hmm. But how we became kind of systematically acclimated, dare I say, another door. So we might want to consider this. Why don't we just abolish the grand jury? Mm -hmm. Why don't we just, seriously, we can do it. There's no mm -hmm. reason why we can't pass a constitutional amendment or a state statute. Just say we're done with this and have the prosecutor, like in other, other jurisdictions, like in the state of Florida, the only time you use a grand jury is if it's for first degree murder or some type of investigation. Or, That's right. That's right. But, but, but just sign the affidavit, sign the indictment, sign, sign it yourself. What are we doing this for? Have accountability, have the police officer, or have special prosecutors. That's another thing. Have statewide prosecutors or a law that says when you have a police officer in, let's say, the city of Austin, you don't have the Austin DA prosecute somebody that by virtue of natural affinity, and propinquity and professional relationships. Let's automatically bring in another prosecutor. Change the system. Address it. I agree. Many, many I more agree. Doors. Yeah, and, and we've had uh, you know Serpico who went through this whole ringer. He has said that we have to have outside oversight in this. And what outside means, whether that means from another jurisdiction or whatever that means, that has to be there. Thank you so much for joining us, Lionel, out of New York. I and we have, uh, and your website is, give, give me your website, Lionel. We've got a couple of seconds. LionelMedia.com and my Twitter handle is Lionel Media. We'll be right back with Paul Joseph Thank Lawson. You Thank you so much, Lionel. GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. This December marks 20 years that I've been on the air. Kicking off on Cyber Monday and throughout the entire week, we're offering the biggest sales in the history of InfoWars.com, celebrating my 20 years on air. And we do it by bringing our listeners the very best high-quality products. Free shipping store-wide on pro-gun Made in America t-shirts. High-quality water filtration systems, but not just free shipping. 30% off Super Mill Vitality. 20% off all colloidal silver. Buy four, get one free. With your purchase of one bottle of DNA Force, you get two free bottles of Survival Shield Nason Iodine, absolutely free, a $60 value. We're also offering 50% off a year membership at PrisonPlanet.tv and upping the number of people that can use each membership to 20. 20 years on air and InfoWars is celebrating it with the biggest sale we've ever had. InfoWarsStore.com or 888-253-3139.